Here are the reasons why Bitcoin can never go to zero. Bitcoin is barely 10 years old, and has gone from being worth zero to being worth $20,000. So, as we sit with the price lower than many would have hoped, is it feeble to think it can reach as low as zero? Well obviously, it's going down. In early February, when Bitcoin was crashing down toward $6,000, the chairman of Rabini Macro Associates, Nuriel Rabini, also known as Dr. Doom for his pessimistic economic outlooks, made a bold claim on his Twitter, express his pessimistic about Bitcoin. He also wrote in a blog post that, I see a decent probability that its price goes to zero. However, he chimed in that he is optimistic about blockchain. Meanwhile, Goldman Sachs also had their say on cryptocurrencies and the possibility of going to zero. Steve Strong and head of investment, said that, because of the lack of intrinsic value, the currencies that don't survive will most likely trade to zero. However, the reasons given by these men for Bitcoin going to zero, are starting to feel a little outdated, because, in recent months, even with the market being so low, there has been a big wave of adoption in the use of blockchain, as well as cryptocurrency. The adoption that has happened recently has been seen at the top level in a few sectors, namely banks, major corporations and even governments. Banks are looking to jump on the cryptocurrency bandwagon because demand from customers is so high. Furthermore, companies on the scale of Microsoft, Amazon, IBM and Oracle are also racing to start providing customer-facing blockchain solutions, in order to be the first to market with an effective and revolutionary product. And about the government, just recently, it was reported that the Dutch Ministry of Economic Affairs and Climate Policy had created a unit tasked with researching the further development of blockchain across technology. So, what does this all mean for Bitcoin? And the idea that it can go to zero? A lot of this hinges on the belief that cryptocurrencies and blockchain can be separated. However, the argument is that the two are definitely linked. Those outside of the blockchain and cryptocurrency space are arguing that the two facets cannot be separated, and thus, if there is an adoption in blockchain, there must be a correlation of benefit to the cryptocurrency space. Elizabeth Stark, CEO of Lightning Labs, said that. When we first pitched my company Lightning Labs, we actually took the word Bitcoin out of our deck and our marketing material because it was so much about blockchain. Now, I feel like we've entered into a Bitcoin, not blockchain world. The adoption of Bitcoin and blockchain has almost reached a critical mass, where it is difficult for it to suddenly lose total support. Many will compare Bitcoin to a company or stock, which can go to zero, as a reason not to invest in it. However, Bitcoin is decentralized and autonomous. There is not one man, group or board of directors that can run it into the ground. With the likes of China and others trying to ban Bitcoin outright, they are discovering that they are not fighting anything tangible. This system of decentralized, adaptive, autonomous and democratic money has too many vested parties and too many strong characteristics, making it hard to eliminate totally in its current form.